In this video, we're going to look at how to solve inequalities. So whenever you're solving inequalities, you're going to be losing a lot of skills you'd use whenever you're uh, solving equations. So look at the video on solving equations first if you need to. So, if you wanted to solve 2x subtract 5 is less than 3, again, you want to get x on its own on the left-hand side. So you'd want to get rid of the minus 5, and you'd want to get rid of the times and by 2. So let's get rid of the minus 5 first of all. So you're going to add 5 to both sides of the inequality. So add 5 to both sides. So you're going to get 2x. Um, adding 5 to minus 5 makes 0, so it disappears, and is less than 3 plus 5 is 8. You want to get rid of the times by 2, because that's 2 times x is less than 8. So you're going to divide by 2, because that's times and by 2. So you divide by 2, and divide by 2, so you're going to get x is less than 4. So uh, 2x divided by 2 is 1x, or just x, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So you know that x is going to be less than 4, and that's it, you've solved the inequality. Before we carry on, actually, I just want to point something out to you. Obviously, 5 is bigger than 2. Now, whenever you times an inequality by a negative, or divide by a negative, you've got to be very careful with the inequality sign. Let's see what would happen. So if I times both of these by, um, let's just say, minus 3. So I'm going to times both of these by minus 3. So times by minus 3, times by minus 3. 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Now notice, minus 15, you can't put in here bigger than. Because if you said minus 15 is bigger than minus 6, well it's wrong. Minus 15 is lower than minus 6, so it's not. So whenever you actually times an inequality by a positive, uh, sorry, whenever you times an inequality by a negative, or divide by a negative, you actually have to change the inequality sign around, so it would look something like this. So you get minus 15 is less than minus 6. So here we've got 5 bracket x plus 3 is bigger than or equal to 40. So whenever you've got a bracket, expand your bracket, so you're going to get 5x plus 15. 5 times x is 5x, 5 times 3 is 15. It's bigger than or equal to 40. You want to get rid of the plus 15, so let's take away 15 from both sides. So take away 15, take away 15. It's meant to be say 15, sorry about that. Uh, whenever you take away 15 from this side, you've got 15, you're going to take away 15, so you're just going to be left with your 5x is bigger than or equal to 40, take away 15 is 25. 5 times x, well you want to get rid of the times by 5, so you're going to divide both sides by 5, and then that's going to leave you if x is bigger than or equal to 5. Okay, in this inequality we've got 10 subtract 2x is less than 18. So whenever you want to solve an inequality, uh, you want to get x's on one side, numbers on the other. So let's get rid of the 10. So let's take away 10 from both sides of the inequality. So if we take away 10 from this side, you're going to be left with minus 2x. And on this side of the inequality, you've got 18 take away 10, which is 8. Now here, obviously, you've got negative 2 times x. So minus 2 times x is less than 18. So you want to get rid of the minus 2, so you want to divide both sides by minus 2. Minus 2 divided by minus 2 is 1, so you're just going to be left with the x. Remember, you're dividing by minus 2 to get rid of the timesing by minus 2, so you're just left with x. And you just need to be careful here. Minus 2. Uh, you've got 8 divided by minus 2. 8 divided by minus 2 is minus 4. Now, whenever you, because obviously it's 8 divided by 2 is 4, so 8 divided by minus 2, it's going to be minus 4. Now, remember, whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to change the inequality sign around. So instead of being a less than, we're going to make it a greater than. So your answer is going to be x is bigger than minus 4. So the main point here is whenever you're dividing by a negative or timesing by a negative, you've got to change your inequality sign around. Okay, so rather than being less than, it'll become bigger than. Okay, so here we've got an inequality. It's 3x plus 2 is bigger than or equal to x plus 11. So again, whenever you're solving an inequality, you want to solve it exactly the same way as you're solving an equation, except just being careful if you're under multiplier to that by a negative. So, let's, uh, we don't want x's on both sides, so we want to get rid of the lowest one. So we want to get rid of the x. So we're going to take away x and take away x. So taking away x from both sides in the inequality would give you 2x, 3x take away x is 2x, plus 2 is bigger than or equal to 11. You then, just like with the one before, you want to get rid of the plus 2, and then you want to get rid of the times by 2. So to get rid of the plus 2, you're going to take away 2 from both sides of the inequality. So it will leave you with 2x. 2 take away 2 is 0, and then it's bigger than 9. Half both of these, so divide both of these by 2 to get rid of the times and by 2. So divide by 2 to get rid of the times by 2. So you're going to be like, then again, x is bigger than or equal to 4.5. So there you've gone, you've solved the inequality again.